Right there guys, how's it going? So, we have another Paul Joyce article today who seems to be getting a lot of news lately ever since uh, a certain CEO of football for FSG has been appointed. You know, just saying. Um, we've got another article here from him in regards to um, Richard Hughes' first appointment for Liverpool. Like his first signing, shall we say. And basically, he is bringing with him from... Bournemouth, their chief scout, Mark Birchill. Now, I might have butchered his last name there, so I'll just keep calling him Mark from now on. Um, so yeah, I'll read this out to you. So it goes on to say that Richard Hughes, Liverpool's new sporting director, is set to bring Bournemouth's chief scout, Mark, with him to Anfield. A deal for Mark, age 43, to follow Hughes from the South Coast Club is in the process of being finalised to bolster Liverpool's recruitment team. Hughes will join Liverpool at the end of the season. He's already working, guys. Don't worry about that. After eight years as Bournemouth's technical director, having been headhunted by Michael Edwards, who was recently appointed chief executive of football by the club's owners, FSG. Edwards has a long-standing association with Hughes from their time together at Portsmouth, more than 20 years ago when the former was chief analyst and the latter the club captain. The former Scotland striker Mark played for numerous clubs in his career, including Portsmouth during that same period, and also had a spell as manager at Livingston. Seems to be a lot of um, getting the band back together, doesn't there? You know, a lot of, you know, Edwards goes, gets his mate, Hughes goes, gets his mate. And I, I understand that, like, you like to work with people that you know. And I hope that it's not a case of, Let's just get my, I'll, you know, get my mate a decent job. I hope it's people that are actually up for the challenge. Do you know what I mean? Like, I hope it. I, it's got to be, guys. It's got to be. It's just a thought that's popped in my head, like, where they all just seem to know each other from years ago. And it's not like they've even worked in the same capacity. Like, they've never worked in this thing where you've had Edwards as CEO, you know, Hughes as a, a director, and then this Mark guy is, like, the chief scout which he wouldn't be at Liverpool anyway because Liverpool have already got like a head of recruitment and Dave Fallows and a chief scout and Barry Hunter. So what does it say? So yeah, so it says here that Mark's appointment will be in support of the head recruitment, Dave Fallows and chief scout and Barry Hunter, whose role in the club's rise has been less heralded than others, but was hugely important. Okay. But yeah, back to my point. You know what I mean though, don't you? It seems to be a lot of, let's just get the band back together, I guess, to repeat myself. Like, I, yeah, I don't know. Edwards and Hughes are intent on putting together a structure at the top of the club that will provide Jurgen Klopp's successor with the best conditions in which to thrive. Klopp announced in January that he will be leaving at the end of the season and Hughes is being entrusted with the with appointing his replacement with support from Edwards. Now I've been saying guys that I think that this is already being basically done, the recruitment for the manager. I think they've got the list. And they're just going to work for it. But this is the second time now I've heard from Paul Joyce that they're basically saying that Richard Hughes is making the decision and that Edwards is going to support him. Now, does that mean that Edwards is going to support him as in this is the list, this is what you should be looking at? Or is it going to be Edwards is supporting him in a case of, yeah, whatever you want, mate, I've got, I've got your back. You make the decision and I'll back you 100%. Because they've mentioned Jabi Alonso, obviously. And then they've put Roberto De Zerbi as like... Well, there, I mean, Paul Joyce. Paul Joyce has put Roberto De Zerbi as number two. Which he did that the other day in his article when Hughes was first announced. This is going to come back to bite me because you watch. De Zerbi will get announced as the new manager. But I just think De Zerbi's got Man United and Chelsea written all over him. I just don't see him as a Liverpool manager. I don't know. The whole thing with Hughes went into appointing when he was at Bournemouth. I don't know. I'm getting a bit thingy about that now. The fact that it's been mentioned twice, especially by Paul Joyce as well. You know, someone that we, uh, someone that we we listen to, and when he says it, it's he's been told by somebody. Hmm. Ruben Amar Ruben Amarim is up there as well, and it says there that he's among the candidates being considered. Um. 
and then it just goes on here about Trent is stepping up his rehabilitation from his knee injury and Trent wants to come back for the Sheffield United game on April 4th before travelling to Old Trafford for a showdown with Man United. But yeah, guys, so that's basically it. Just to say that um, Richard Hughes is bringing with him a scout from Bournemouth and that, yeah, De Zerbe seems to be popping up a lot in Joyce's um, articles. Makes you wonder where he's getting his information from, doesn't it? Especially when he started chirping up a little bit since Edwards has come back. Not that I'm saying that Edwards is by any means telling Joyce anything. You know, could be Richard Hughes. Richard Hughes may have been like, who did you speak to during your time at Liverpool? Who did you trust? And, you know, he's put him in the, towards Joyce. And that's where we're seeing the Deserby stuff from, because apparently Hughes is an admirer of Deserby. I don't know, guys. Um, I'm still of the mind that we won't see much in regards to the management managerial announcements now until towards the back end of the season. I think we're going to start seeing some players linked, which we already have done, like Lloyd Kelly. I can't remember who it was. Sorry, I don't remember your name. But um, one of you commented on my video yesterday about um, players or something, and I mentioned Lloyd Kelly in that. And then we've had articles come out about it. <laughs> Um, is like the first name to be linked with us from Bournemouth. So, yeah, it's an FSG sign if I've ever seen one. Might be good. Never know. Might be good. But anyway, yeah, guys, so that's it for this video. I'm just about to do another video for you on Xabi Alonso because I've just seen on the news that something's leaked from what Bayern Munich have said. Leaked, whatever. But, yeah. Right then, guys, I'll leave that one there. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think on getting the band back together. And the whole Roberto De Zerbi thing. Do you starting to think there's something in that one? It's creeping into my mind, guys. I won't lie to you. So, yeah, it's creeping into my mind. Right then, I'll catch you in the next one. See you later.